Well, we're getting out and uh, meeting the Buffs, and it's been a lot of fun and seeing the state. We've had a great reception, and uh, it's, a, it's been an awesome day. We've been speaking at different places, and number one, the passion of the CU faithful is phenomenal. Um, to feed off their energy and to, to see how excited they are about the, the university, about all the athletic programs, and just let them know how proud we are to, to be coaches here and, and what an honor it is to be the head football coach at CU. Um, I think it's been really good. They've had a lot of great questions and been able to get a lot of information to them, and they get to hear it from the uh, horse's mouth, so to speak, and, and hear exactly what we're doing and what we're trying to do and what we're going to accomplish. Hi, this is BG Brooks with CUBuffs.com on day three of the Colorado Coaches State Caravan. Wednesday stops included Colorado Springs and Pueblo with men's basketball coach Tad Boyle, women's coach Linda Lappy, and new football coach Mike McIntyre. The day's itinerary featured stops at Rutledge's clothing store in Colorado Springs, lunch at the Waterfront Banquet Hall in Pueblo, a private tour of Peterson Air Force Base in Colorado Springs, and a happy hour finale at the Cheyenne Mountain Resort. An unscheduled stop was at Pueblo's Center for American Values, where portraits of 144 living Medal of Honor recipients went on display in 1999. It was unquestionably the day's and perhaps the tour's most moving stop. See it if you haven't. This is B.G. Brooks on the Colorado Coaches State Caravan. You can read more about the tour on cubuffs.com.